is going on, guys? Welcome to Stop Crying Poser, the greatest podcast known to both man and woman. Equal rights for equal fights, bitches. Get ready. Knuckle up or get fucked up. In the chat, we have VL Scoot, Quebec, Nicholas, Eric Sanchez, 87 matches. Jake Cowsley, Christian A, Timerick, Varial Reality Skater Chan, and more. We have a lot of pretty interesting topics. Also, quite a few very uninteresting topics because that's part of what makes this podcast great. We don't try to hit you with all the good stuff. We try to lull you to sleep and then bam, good topic and then shitty topic and then woo, when you least expect it, another great topic. As far as channel news, I want to start with that. I want to make the official announcement that I am quitting smoking methamphetamine. I'm kidding. I uh, <laughs> I was going to bait you guys into thinking I'm quitting YouTube, but I uh, made a joke right there. Probably going to get demonetized. Um, We're going to stop doing five videos per week, and we're going to start doing four videos per week. And you would think, hey, Steve, all you do is complain about YouTube all fucking day long. Why would you then lower your workload? Well, because I'm working so hard and it's becoming less and less worth the amount of man hours I put in. So, fuck it. We're going to start our transition into Twitch. That's going to be our last Hail Mary for the old internet career, and we'll see how it goes from there. So, speaking of that, I appreciate each and every one of you guys for being here for the podcast. I know sometimes it's hard to make it to the podcast live, but that's cool because if you don't make it to the podcast live, you can always watch the replay on Sundays on either iTunes, YouTube, or Podbean. So, um, it's been an interesting week, I guess, right? Eminem just shot back his diss song at MGK. Uh, I got a machine that can electrocute my balls. I landed a fakey grind kickflip, and oh, wait a minute. This is really crazy news. Scooter Rider did a cartwheel. <gasps> yeah, stop the press. Uh, let's go ahead and start with the news. There have been a lot of shootings here in Las Vegas, so almost every single article we're going to go over today has something to do with a shooting, which is sad because I'm super, you know, pro-gun. I'm into guns. I'm into using guns safely and correctly and victimlessly, I guess, unless you're a criminal. And, uh... The stories today are pretty sad, so get ready to uh, put your sad faces on, goddammit. Video shows suspect firing gun that injured seven-year-old girl on Trop and Spencer. Um, the video is what's the most telling. Please, God, don't play some bullshit. Fuck you! If you're watching on YouTube or Twitch, here is the video. The kid pulls a gun out of his backpack, fires three shots while using only one hand, and runs away scared. No one knows why he did it. No one knows who he was shooting at. But as I always say, when it comes to people who have no idea how to use guns, it's never uh, it's never the rival gang member that gets shot. It's always the fucking innocent seven-year-old because this idiot doesn't know how to use a gun, doesn't know how to aim, and doesn't know even like the proper time to pull out the gun. On top of that, he does it right outside the smoke shop, which to me is pretty bold. You got to be pretty fucking bold to pull out a gun right outside of a smoke shop where people are working. And you know there's a camera there. And also, here's my thing. You're shooting at a guy who you want to die, right? Or you want them to be shot. Why don't you fucking aim at them? How about, you know what? Let's give the gangsters and the thugs the benefit of the doubt. If you want to kill someone, please God, put both of your hands together. Aim down the sights and let's try hitting the other fucking scumbag of society. Let's try to have the scumbags actually shooting each other with a little bit of, I don't know, slight general information. Like, I just watched Turbo Toy Time with Andy Schrock and his kid. Him and Raiden just got a Nerf blaster and they're trying to shoot a piece of pizza off the couch. And uh, when they shoot the Nerf blaster, they aim down the sights and shoot the Nerf blaster. So please explain to me why a fucking four-year-old understands basic aim more than this, uh, I don't know, 23-year-old kid. What the fuck is wrong with these people? 
And it's sad. A suspect accused of shooting towards a car and injuring a seven-year-old girl is shown in surveillance video. I can't wait for these guys to get caught. This guy looks really familiar too, but uh, I don't know where I've seen him. Oh, a man shot into a car, hitting a seven-year-old girl east of UNLV at Tropicana near Spencer. According to police, a man was backing his car out from a smoke shop parking lot when men blocked his path. That led to an argument. One of the men pulled out a gun and fired into the car, hitting the driver's seven-year-old daughter in the back while the car was pulling back. The girl was treated for non-life-threatening injuries. Police say she's in stable condition. All right, two things here. The gun didn't kill her because this guy clearly, number one, doesn't know how to shoot a gun. Number two, doesn't know what type of ammo to buy. Okay, he went to Walmart and said, um, what, what goes in this? I don't know. And they gave him some target rounds that, thank God, this fucking innocent girl didn't get killed. There was no evidence the shooting was gang-related. So does that not make it worse? Does that not make it worse or is it better? Let me know in a comment. Is it better or worse that this is not gang related? Because if it was gang related, you would know, okay, this guy had a problem with this guy. These two guys are going to fucking eventually kill each other and life goes on good. For it not being gang related, oh, hey, this guy who just bought, a, I don't know, a pack of cigarettes from the smoke shop. I don't like the way he backed out his car. So I'm just going to shoot this random, normal, run-of-the-mill working man. Oh, except I'm going to shoot so bad. I'm going to be so bad at aiming that I'm going to shoot a seven-year-old. Hope this guy kills himself. Uh, no arrests were made, and police say there may be two suspects involved who ran away. But there was just one shooter. A surveillance video from the business shows the suspect shooting his gun multiple times. He then runs away from the scene. Okay, well, the shooter described blah, 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 blah. His hair was worn in an afro style. Oh, damn. Is that Af in an afro style? They put that in the article, put afro style, both words in quotations. His hair was worn in an afro style. Afro style would be my fighting, my fighting type. You know, when you walk out to the octagon or whatever, and they're like, this man is a Muay Thai fighter. This man is a Jiu Jitsu fighter. This man is a freestyle fighter. This man is a Sambo fighter. For me, it'd be like, this man is an Afro style fighter weighing in at 155 pounds. <laughs> Fucking <laughs> fighting out of smoke shop, Tropicana and Spencer. Fucking the Afro boy. Oh, the second suspect was also black male, blah, blah, blah. Police said the suspects, blah, blah, blah. They ran towards apartments. And that's all the information we have. We don't have any information. So we have to now rely on snitches and i don't appreciate that aspect of catching the bad guy but here's my thing somebody knows these guys somebody's this guy's neighbor somebody's this guy's friend somebody's this guy's teacher somebody's his cousin or somebody just doesn't fucking like the guy hears that he killed a fucking set or shot a seven-year-old excuse me and they probably just want this guy to go down by the way everyone unrelated to this article all donations are greatly appreciated but all donations will be read at the end of the podcast big or small even if you donate one single penny or eight pennies like eight bit ranger or if you donate a dollar or more they will all be read at the end of the podcast next article a man died after a confrontation with henderson police okay henderson is part of las vegas kind of it's sort of, uh, Las Vegas is made up of a lot of different cities, I suppose, right? There's Las Vegas, there's North Las Vegas, there's like Summerlin, there's Henderson, there's like Spring Valley. There's all these different little areas, but we just call the whole thing Las Vegas. Kind of like California does something similar where like, oh, you're in San Francisco, but everything's sort of called San Francisco, even if you're in another little subsection. So generally in this part of Las Vegas, things don't go so bad. There's a skate park here called Anthem Skate Park, and I fucking, I shit you not, as you drive into the neighborhood of the skate park, there's fucking fake waterfalls and fake mountains on both sides of you. Like, if you thought you were in like a tutti fruity fucking rich neighborhood, you haven't been in a rich neighborhood until you've driven into where there's fire, f fire, excuse me, fucking waterfalls. <laughs> there's fireballs on each side of you. There's uh, waterfalls on each side of you. So uh, this is not really the place where... I would imagine police shootings would happen. I do remember reading an article a long time ago 
It was like this guy, it was like this big serial fucking problem. This guy was going around Henderson cutting down trees. <laughs> He's just, oh, it was like, he was like, oh, we, we're going to find out the mystery of the guy who's cutting down the trees. Like, okay, somebody's just cutting trees. Okay, that's somebody called Batman. Help. Okay, according to police officers, we're called to the blah, 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 Point Vista Avenue, west of Whitney Ranch Drive. I don't even know these places. In reference to, and I quote, unknown trouble. Can you imagine if I called 911 and I was like, hey, listen, guys, we got some unknown trouble down the street. I don't know what it is. I know it's trouble, and it's pretty unknown. When officers arrived, they could hear loud screaming coming from the inside, coming from inside the residence. Henderson police said officers forced their way inside and found a man wielding a box cutter. Oh, damn. Dead body. Killed this guy. According to police, there was a woman inside the residence in obvious distress, and she was the one who called 911. Officers gave verbal commands for the man to drop the box cutter, but the suspect exited a closet and charged at officers with the box cutters. Box cutter, excuse me. Officers shot the man, and the woman was taken to Sunrise Hospital with non-life-threatening injuries. The suspect was pronounced dead at the scene. Okay. You know what? I don't want to get racial on you guys, but I know how these articles go. And since they didn't, since they didn't write black man was killed 500 times, we can assume it wasn't a black guy. And I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if that's good or bad, but we can be pretty sure about this article because if it was a black guy, they would have written black guy 500 times. And we would have, oh, we would have definitely known the skin color of the cop. That would have definitely been in the article. But instead, it's just no, nothing, just no, no information whatsoever. And I don't know, again, I'm not trying to like, I'm not trying to make a point by saying that, but I'm saying that's very fucking strange that that's, that's the narrative of how articles have changed now. If it's a black guy, everyone is always going to mention black guy shot, black guy killed, black guy did this, black guy did that. But since here, since it's not a black guy, it could be a Mexican guy, could be a white guy, could be an Indian guy, could be an Asian guy, but anything other than black, it just, it just becomes nameless. And I kind of want to know your guys' thoughts on that. I want to know... What do you guys think is the bigger conspiracy here? Um, if you think a lot of these news articles... I was watching Sway and Eminem today, and they mentioned something about... The news just seems to want to turn everyone against each other. And I feel like this might be an example of that. Or it could be the exact opposite. I just find it interesting. And I, I find it interesting that now the way that I read articles has changed. Because I noticed that halfway through the article, I noticed that there was no mention of anyone's color at all. And I thought, oh, what, this, okay, what's, wow, this is, this, is, uh, this is different than what I'm usually, you know, what's usually in the headlines. So I do want to know your guys' thoughts. If you're not watching live, let me know your thoughts on uh, YouTube. But I don't know. It's, uh, it's weird. Anyways, it's uh, sad that this guy died. It's also, I'm all for, like, police shooting people with weapons. Okay, I'm super pro-gun. And uh, if you have a knife, don't bring it to a cop fight. I've always said that. But also, there's the underlying issue of, uh, well, number one, police brutality for minorities. But let's ignore that for now. Let's talk about mental illness with these fucking weird people. Let's talk about drugs. Huge drug problem in Las Vegas and all over the fucking United States these days. You get these people all cracked out on fucking crack meth, PCP, whatever. And now they're going crazy. And cops just shoot them. On one hand, I'm kind of like, hey, don't have a knife. On the other hand, I'm kind of like, uh, listen, officer, like maybe here's the thing. What if this pretend situation, obviously every situation is different, but let's make up this pretend situation where you have two cops, both aiming their guns at a guy with, uh, let's say a knife, let's say a small knife, a five inch blade, two guns pointed at this guy. He lunges at cops. Then he eats fucking 25 bullets dies on scene dies within seconds in that situation that made up situation in no reference to this article in that situation why not could one cop uh immediately spray the shit out of the guy with his peppers because that fucks everyone up Th that same cop could also have the taser and then the, the the other cop that can be the gun cop we can call it uh uh good cop death cop 
That's what we should call all those situations. If there's two cops there, we should have one good cop and one death cop. The good cop will just be there to tase you and mace you, and if things don't go right, then you meet the death cop. And I think these days in America, certainly in Las Vegas, everyone's a death cop. There's no, there's no good cop, death cop. There's death cop, death cop. And instead of getting shot, you know, 12 times, every, everyone who fucks up gets shot 24 times. And I think that's a problem. Obviously, every situation is different. Obviously, I'm not going to be the guy that says, hey, whoa, fucking, yeah, the guy had a knife and he came at officers. You guys should have tased him. Well, the taser doesn't work all the time. Spray doesn't work all the time. Spray's not going to work against PCP, you know. But I feel like the, there's something here. I don't have all the answers right now. I just thought of this all off the top of my head. But I think there's something, I think there's something there behind good cop, death cop. And I think we're going to, over the following weeks, the more police shootings we see in the news, I think I'm going to try to bring back the idea of good cop, death cop. I mean, what do you guys think about that? <laughs> I think uh, death cop, death cop, it only ends in death. Good cop, death cop. Let's say we can only save, uh, let's say we cut 100% of police shootings down. What if we cut that down to 70? Like, oh, not a big, not a big change. Still a ton of fucking dead people that may or may not have deserved to die. But it'd be a step in the right direction. So that's, uh, that's as, as president of the internet, I vote for when there's two police and one suspect, and the suspect has not a gun, maybe a, a knife or a box cutter, my, I propose that both cops look at each other, they go, paper, rock, scissors, shoot, and one cop gets to be death cop, and one cop has to be fucking good cop. So, I don't know if you guys agree with me or not. Chat room's not really going so hard today. But next article north las vegas police investigating teens homicide at canyon springs high canyon springs high school here in las vegas nevada actually i think it's in north las vegas and uh, it has some pretty good ledges you go there i remember a long time ago i did a line where i did a uh, nose grind nollie back heel and i turned around and then did 180 nose grind great spot for skateboarding bad place uh for your kid with a gun north las vegas fox 5 north las vegas police said a teen was shot on the campus of Canyon Springs High School Tuesday afternoon and died at the hospital. Police said the victim, an 18-year-old man, was taken to UMC with a gunshot wound and later died. Now, when this article first came out, everyone on Facebook was, uh, was bitching about it, saying, oh my god, fucking first week of school, or maybe it's like the second week of school, whatever it is, already some student dead. None of the articles said it was a student until later, and the shooting happened outside of like the school building so i was pretty skeptical turns out i was wrong it was a student who was killed let's continue reading no one was arrested in the case police said the shooting had nothing to do with the school other than the location oh wait never mind wait maybe i was right oh my god i, I keep reading different shit okay police said the shooting had nothing to do with the school other than the location on the northwest property line west of the baseball fields uh, North Las Vegas Police Department would not identify whether the victim was a student at the school. Witnesses reported several shots fired at 2.30. Well, then fuck it. I'm a genius. I thought I was wrong. Turns out I'm a fucking genius. Classes were done for the day. But about 500 of the school's 2,700 students were still on campus and were put on lockdown as police searched classrooms and hallways. Nothing was found inside. North Las Vegas Police said they don't believe the shooting was random. And that no one at the school was targeted. CCSD asked that people avoid the area as officers investigate. I'm not going to read all this shit. This is just a letter that Canyon Springs sent to parents. Um, okay. I thought this was going to be a topic about school shootings. But I don't know what's going on here. I've also read. And maybe you guys can correct me if I'm wrong. I've read that a lot of the things deemed school shootings over the years have been somewhat exaggerated because of things like this school was out and a shooting happened on the property line of the school but it wasn't a student issue and it had nothing to do with people at the school it just happened to be like oh i shot the guy and he fell onto the grass and the grass happens to belong to the school kind of thing but this is going to go down 
in the statistics as a school shooting. And that's where we get these weird things where it's like, okay, there was a uh, hundred school shootings this year. And you go, a hundred? I didn't hear about any of these. A hundred? No one's going to talk about this in uh, a week. Or they might because someone died. But had that person been shot and lived, no one would talk about this ever again. It'd be a school shooting that just got swept under the rugs until we started talking school shooting stats. I uh, had read, I read one article where this guy was in the parking lot of a school on like the weekend and killed himself. And that became a school shooting. He just shot himself. And that became a school shooting. I feel like we need some context. And I never thought about how easily statistics could be manipulated until you start seeing people really try to manipulate them in their own favor you know what i mean and uh i don't know i don't know it's like it, it makes me it, it puts me in this position where i don't know what to believe and then you get these other guys who say oh well this is the real statistic and then i'm in a spot there where i'm like well how do i believe you how do i believe you and you i don't have the fucking time to go into the you know, the, the the 500 page statistics and find out if i can go uh pay one page at a time and figure out what school shooting was a real school shooting i mean ah it's just weird it's weird the way that facts are presented to us these days let me know your thoughts on that armed student 17 arrested at desert rose high school i'm not sure where desert rose high school is but uh let's check it out a student was arrested wednesday after school officials discovered a loaded gun in his possession during a press conference about guns wait what okay never mind i, th I thought he... I, I don't know why i don't know why i thought that this was gonna say during a press conference about guns on campus they found a kid with a gun on campus <laughs> sorry okay continue during a press conference about guns on campus and school safety ccsd police confirmed the arrest of the 17 year old student this is the seventh incident involving guns on campus since the start of the new school year. I'm assuming that the last article we read might have been the sixth. And it doesn't even seem like it would be a good guns on campus thing. You know what, though? Las Vegas, I always tell you guys, it's kind of a shithole. You know, there's obviously some nice places and some shitty places. But it's a lot shittier than you would ever think from watching TV. But um, I think it's interesting that on the very first day of school day one a kid was caught with a gun and it leads me to believe like one of two things either one these kids are so afraid of what could happen at school that they're bringing guns or number two these kids are such fucking like like trying to start shit you know they're such fuckheads that they want to bring a gun to a school to intimidate others and it's scary it's a scary thought an arrest has not been made what oh they're talking about a different one on tuesday so yeah so this happened the day after the last article we read oh good timing steve oh totally planned other high schools with recent gun related arrests include green valley centennial sierra vista chaparral and mojave holy shit well that's life Christney says, what are my thoughts on those high school students trying to ban ar-15s uh anyone trying to ban an ar-15 is really uneducated about how rifles work i think um i think uh that's interesting and funny and all it's gonna do is make these fucking ar-15s price go up which is why i time i time when i buy guns very very carefully all right uh one last article this one was submitted by vl scoot i have not read it but the picture this kid's either a future juggalo or a future fucking gigolo Given Z jobs in the parking lot of Beer Fest. A Texas school district is reevaluating sexist dress codes. Sexist is in um, parentheses here, quotations. A, tex a Texas school district is reevaluating sexist dress code after student is suspended for wearing makeup in class. Now, before we read this, wearing makeup in class? Okay, well, guess what? When I went to school, even if you were a juggalo, couldn't wear makeup in class. In fact, they were kind of strict on chicks, even. Chicks can wear, like, overly done makeup because you end up looking like fucking clowns. And then I get scared because there's a clown in here and I have to run away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, inside joke for the stream, if anyone understands that joke. <laughs> Give me a hell yeah. 
Days after a male high school student in Pearland, Texas, received in-school suspension, so not even a real suspension, for wearing makeup in the classroom, the school district is being proactive in getting its institution's dress code changed to best accommodate its students. Now, here's the slippery slope. We don't want the school to be, like, anti-gay. Because I'm assuming this is a gay article because I'm looking at the picture. I'm assuming this kid's trying to look gay. Or be gay. Maybe he's gay and he wants to look gay. That's what gays have to do. Cool thing about being gay is you have to, like, you have to let everyone know you're gay. Otherwise, no one's going to know. No one's going to know to talk to you and be like, hey, what's up, dude? You want to go fucking swimming later? A teenager whose identity has not been made public, who attends the Shadow Creek High School, blah, 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 received disciplinary action for violating a rule in the dress code. Boys may not wear makeup. Now, when this rule was created, it was probably created for juggalos, weirdos, and like people who really liked like metal bands and, and Motley Crue, and everyone's coming in there with their weird like the eyeshadow on the bottom so they can look more uh, emo and shit. So back then, it was a good rule. Now that we have, you know, like coming out and being gay is, is not like a, it's not a taboo topic anymore. Now I think it is probably, it's going to be time to make some changes to these rules. And I think a lot of you guys probably didn't expect me to say that, huh? You probably expected me to say some really insensitive shit, but I'm not. Uh, with the way the world is changing, and I think potentially for the better as far as, like, you know, gays being not frowned upon and not being taboo and not being weird, I think that's a good. Now, we get into this, like, transgenders need extra bonus rights, and we get into a million genders, then you start to lose me. But as far as, like, this guy wants to go to school and look his best, and he just happens to be gay. I think this is totally this is totally fine. They should change the dress code to uh, accommodate, you know, gay dudes. Okay, he refused to take it off when he was asked. Oh, Rosa Parks, goddammit. However, people throughout the community have gone to bat for the students, saying that the rule is outdated. Oh, I'm psychic. One of the boy's friends, Jasmine, who is ironically also a boy, even... <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's not in the article. <laughs> oh, Jasmine even launched a petition to get it revised, according to Houston local station KHOU. <laughs> oh, the petition that appeared on change.org on Saturday reads, Alvin ISD has a dress code and policy, blah, 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 blah. These policies... Okay, wait, I shouldn't... I should not have blah, blah, blah that. The policies, such as preventing boys from wearing makeup and earrings... Both things that girls are allowed to wear. These policies are based entirely on outdated and sexist gender standards. Okay, that sexist. Outdated, maybe, yes, but not sexist. So don't say it's sexist when it was totally normal back then. Prohibiting boys from wearing makeup because makeup is only for girls also prohibits them from expressing themselves in what is supposed to be a safe environment. Now, I keep making the juggalo reference. If you wanted to stir the pot, and I don't, but if you're in Texas and you really want to stir up the fucking pot, I think uh, I think you really should go as a juggalo. I think juggalo should take over the fucking school. And it's one of those things where um, obviously uh, the state or the people, their hearts are in the right place. But you really are opening up yourself to uh, to to like the slippery slope of of makeup. That that is makeup. Varial says, no makeup in school, period. Boys and girls. And Apache helicopters. I, uh, I think that would be a really, like, non-biased, like, objective way, Varial. But I don't think that shit would fucking fly. I think there should be... How could you even make this rule? Oh, man, like, I'm, I'm now experiencing, like, the, the problems that the school district is probably running into right now. VL Scoot says, makeup required for everyone. Um, what do you do? How do you make this fair? How do you make this fair without having people overdo it? Right? So I would say they should make the language a little bit like vague and say a reasonable amount of makeup is allowed. And when they say reasonable, they sort of make it subjective, but they also have language like that in, in laws. You know, specifically in, like, copyright law, a reasonable person should know the difference between Toys R Us logo and a logo that says scooters are gay. The law uses the term a reasonable person. So you should look at these dudes with makeup and say, oh, is this a reasonable amount of makeup? Maybe some eyeshadow, maybe some blush, something like that. Maybe some, uh, you know, some 
some maybe some <laughs> something to make your your lips a little okay speaking of that i got the chapstick right here something to make your lips a little less chapped there we go put on the lip bit right there something to make your lips a little less chapped but when you overdo it and when you don't look reasonable then they should call it that way with this subjective language we can stop the juggalo prank that is fucking it's definitely gonna happen the juggalo prank is happening people the frogs are gay and the juggalos are coming out to play and you're about to get down with the clown or you're gonna be dead in the ground god damn it <laughs> matches says no full face makeup or corpse paint corpse paint wait a minute are you being a racist Against dead bodies right now matches, because that's really not cool. Jay Cowsley said, when I went to school, you were only allowed eyeliner and mascara, nothing else. Well, you're limiting, Jay Cowsley, you're limiting their ability to be themselves. Oh, what a, I didn't think this topic would uh, would be so fun. Thank you, VL Scoot, for submitting this. As a result, uh, Alvin ISD responded by setting up a meeting with the student who was suspended. And uh, Superintendent Daniel Combs. Okay, it was a good learning opportunity. Okay, good, cool, whatever. We started a great dialogue and allowed the students to share their insight, share their perspective, and share their concerns. And working together with the students, we talked about what's a good... I'm sorry, I can't read this anymore. I just had the greatest idea. I need to do a fucking Twitch Juggalo stream. We need to do a fucking Juggalo stream. It's... We have to. It's over. Like, it's been It's been solved. We're gonna... We're gonna fucking... We're gonna... I'm going to beg for $20 worth of donations next week, and that's going to win a Juggalo stream, and we're just going to fucking ball out. We're going to Juggalo our little hearts out. We're going to bump some fucking ICP, IRL-style dude, whoop, whoop, and we're going to fucking just get gnarly. Oh, my God. If that's, It's either going to make all my subscribers completely like just cancel their subscription, or we're going to get a couple of faggios in here, and we're going we're gonna to get drunk. We're going to have a good time, dude. We're going to fucking hang out with our our fa Juggalo fam, and we're going to get down. Fago, I mean. <laughs> oh, man. As a district, we are going to put together a committee that will allow our community, our parents, as well as our students, to have a voice. Okay. So they're, uh, they're going in the right direction. Right? Uh, the district has a fairly frequent review process. So this is Texas? Doesn't Texas hate gay people? That's what I always thought. I thought Texas hated gay people, minorities, but they like guns, which is bad news if you're a, a, a black gay. Bad news in Texas. <laughs> oh, actually, my first uh, my first boss at GameStop was a, a gay black dude. It was actually awesome. He dyed my hair blonde. If you guys go back and watch Ninja Oldies, while at work, we had a slow work day, and uh, our manager was like holding down the fort. We went into the back room. It was this tiny bathroom, and he fucking bleached my hair blonde. It was very, very fucking, uh, very like, uh, learned a lot. Learned a lot from that experience. <laughs> whoop, whoop. Um, okay, cool. That's all the news we have for today. Um, we covered a lot of cool shit. <laughs> I think we're having a great time right now. I'm having a great time with today's podcast. Uh, I drank two 211s last night. Usually drinking two 211s might leave me slightly hungover, a little bit slow, a little bit unprepared. But, uh, I'm digging it. I'm digging it right now, man. I'm totally prepared. Oh, okay. What do I got in my notes right here? So, if you're a regular Twitch viewer, this will excite your balls. I got a machine that will give me electro shock therapy, and we're not going to call it ex we're not going to call it electrocution. We're going to call it therapy because it's a therapeutic device. And sometime next week, it's going to be an action to where we're going to set it up. To where every time you donate one dollar, you give me one second of therapy on my arm or maybe my leg, whatever's sore at the moment. I get a little bit of therapy, and maybe the therapy the therapy may look like painful, but I assure you, it is just a therapeutic thing. It's all good. We certainly do not want to. Uh, we don't want to tiptoe on the community guidelines as far as self harm. Last thing I want to do is harm myself. That's why when I've had too many drinks, we call it a day. That's why I'm only going to put this therapy thing on things that are bothering me. I've been playing a lot of uh, video games. My hands are really sore. We need a little bit of therapy for the hands. We're going to turn it just up enough to get a little kick. And uh, it's also going to be a little bit entertaining. Because what it does is when the pulse goes through your arm, it makes your hand do this. 
Or at least that's the last time I did it, it made my hand go like that. So if I'm playing a game and I'm really trying to beat it, and you guys donate a dollar, my hand goes like this, and I lose the game every time. And I get a little shock, and maybe I'll yell the F word. Oh, yeah, the real F word. Fuck, not the other one. So that's, uh, that's in the future for Twitch, and I think it's really exciting. And if you guys are down with that, you donate $1, and I get some shock therapy, give me a hell, yeah, if you're down with that idea, goddammit. It's going to be a great way for me to raise money. And also, we have the weed stream coming up possibly in the next couple weeks which I'm not looking forward to at all but uh but who knows that's a thing also in my topics Eminem versus MGK what a great time to talk about that right fuck the popo J Kalsey VL Scoot Christian E Mubot Grass Sandwich and more what a great time to talk about Eminem because today yes today only a few hours ago Eminem released his new disc I think it's called Kill Shot and uh, it was pretty cool I, for one, I like this beef. I like that they're beefing, okay? I don't want to choose sides, but I also don't want to be super biased about it. I liked the first one MGK said was pretty dope. It was pretty cool. I liked it. Eminem came back the same way he does with his own style. It was cool. It was good. So what, can somebody explain to me what order it went in? It was like, uh, MGK said some shit a bunch of years ago. Eminem said some shit on Kamikaze. And then MGK said some, some new shit. And then Eminem said some newer shit now? Something like that. What is this kill shot? I think it's called a kill shot. It was pretty good. If you guys haven't seen it, check it out. It's only like two minutes long. And um, I don't know. It's uh, It makes you interested. Right? It it drags you in. For me, it drags me in because it's all over Facebook. Varial Reality says fake beef. That would not surprise me at all. But on this topic, I brought up this topic not so much to uh, two sides or talk so much about that. I brought up this topic... Because I wanted to talk about something that Eminem recently talked about on an interview with Sway. He said, uh, sometimes people say this dumb shit and you're kind of afraid to talk back because you don't want that person to get um, popularity off of it. You don't want them to get attention. And there's been a lot of people on my... Uh, over the years, you know, the scooter riding thing and some of the weird the weird beef that was on Shredcast and shit that we don't talk about so much. A part of that comes not from me, like, being too cool to talk about it. I just don't want these motherfuckers, I don't know, even though, like, let's say a scooter rider. Let's say a popular scooter rider talks shit on me, and they do all the time. And let's say they're even if they're more popular than me. Let's say that. I don't want to talk about it because I don't want sc I don't want skateboarders being drawn in to uh to how lame this this beg for attention is. Cuz you guys look at me, I've never called out anyone, really. And every time I have it's because someone else brought it up. So I don't need this this begging for attention. Although right now I could probably use it. My YouTube's gone to shit. I could probably use this begging for attention. But I try to keep my mouth shut for the same reason that I think Eminem started to. And uh, it's because you don't want to bring attention to these people. For Eminem, it's a different situation because he's one of the most popular rappers ever in history. So his thing is like, yeah, I don't want to talk about MGK because it's going to make him more, more popular. It's going to make him more famous. I don't want to do that. On my side, I'm not the most popular skateboarder alive. In fact, right now I'm fucking, <laughs> I'm falling off the off the map at, a, at an increasingly high speed. But uh, I don't want to give any attention to anyone who's wanting it. And you guys have seen me do that even in the Twitch chat over the past year or so. There's a lot of people who just talk a bunch of shit. And I'll entertain it for a little while. And then when I get tired of it, it's just a quick ban takes me two seconds to ban people same as on youtube a lot of people i can sort of see them trolling and i can sort of see them wanting attention and it's just up oh, you're out of here now i don't want to be a hypocrite because maybe one day there may be a day when i call somebody out on some uh, some youtube beef or something like that but as of right now i can totally respect eminem's stance so i wanted to talk about that let's talk about today's uh youtube video fakey grind flip speaking of scooter riders I planned on landing a fakey 50-50 to fakey flip. I planned on it being a pretty simple trick, right? Shouldn't be too hard. I stuck it in my first four or five tries, and then came along the scooter riders. And all the scooter riders wanted to do was say, I want to be in your video and tell me about Fortnite, tell me about their YouTube, tell me about their Twitch, tell me what they're going to do, tell me how much subscribers they're going to get, 
And then they want to tell me, oh, do you know any, <laughs> this is, this is where I'm going to take it personal. They're like, do you know any Twitch streamers? And I'm like, oh, I guess. And they're like, I know Ninja. I know uh, PewDiePie. I know this person. And I'm thinking to myself like, okay, dude, you're fucking, you're 10 years old. You don't know any of these people. You watch these people. It's different from you knowing them. You watch them. In that scenario, okay, okay, I don't want to get off topic. Basically, what I'm getting at is the same thing I got it in today's video. We are giving people, specifically kids, too much positivity, okay? Because this kid, this kid thought he was something special because he watched a stream. And then he twisted the words into him knowing the streamer personally. And you'd say, ah, oh, that's not a big deal, he's just a kid. Oh, don't worry, it gets crazier. He then uh, demanded I give him my skateboard so that he can try to skate on my camera for my YouTube. He also uh, made it a point to tell me how crazy he was. Although, mind you, not a tail whip was done that day. Not a tail whip was done. In fact, the kid could not roll up nor roll down a single ramp at the skate park, which I always thought that was a, uh, a human right. I thought if you were a human, you were able to ride up and down a ramp on a scooter, but apparently there are people who are actually getting less and less and less talented. We are D. You guys remember Mario Brothers? There's that thing called like the de-evolution chamber. We are de-evolving. We're devolving as far as I don't know balance and skill. Then the kid said, "Oh, I'm crazy. Look what I can do." Proceeds to uh do a cartwheel on the box, mind you. Also, an entire park filled with grass, filled with places where you can. You can actually perfect your cartwheel. You can get really good at your cartwheel. But why would you get good at the cartwheel when you're already so crazy at it? And uh, on top of that, the kid uh, the kid knew Ninja and he knew PewDiePie. And he had a Twitch channel and I had to subscribe to it. And I was demanded to subscribe to it. And I was demanded to, uh, t to give up my skateboard so that this kid could... I, I, for some reason, I think the kid thought maybe he... You know, it's happened. it happens sometimes when you wake up and you forget that... Like you confuse yourself with God. Every once in a while you wake up and you're like, I'm not Steve anymore. I'm now God. I'm now going to order people to do everything. And now I'm all powerful. Uh, fucking bow to my miraculous cartwheel. And you know what's causing that, right? You know what's causing that? Fucking participation medals at soccer games. And uh, parents giving their kids props for everything. You watch Door of the Explorer and they go, oh, which tool should I use? And you go, oh, use the hammer to hit the nail. And they go, oh my god, you're so smart. You use a hammer to hit a nail. Oh my god, you're amazing. And I feel like when I was a kid, childish TV shows weren't like that, right? Like maybe you'd count the cookies or something with a cookie monster. One, two, three. Oh, it's three. And then cookie monsters would be like, hey, motherfucker, it was three. That was it. It wouldn't go, oh my god, amazing genius boy, you can count to three, oh my god, no, and guess what I never did as a kid, a fucking cartwheel, and then look around like, oh yeah, bitch, who's the fuck cartwheel king now, bow to me, give me your own, give me the skateboards, and uh, I've told you guys this in today's video, you know what that breeds, that breeds narcissism. It breeds narcissism, and narcissism is what has created this weird gender thing. Because now, these kids get older in life, and they realize they're a totally normal person. They realize later in life that, oh, everyone can fucking cartwheel, you retard. And they go, oh, fuck, um, my cartwheel's not fucking making me amazing anymore. What do I do? Uh, should I get good at skateboarding? Oh, no, that would take too long. Should I get uh, like, good at video games? No, fuck that. Should I become really smart or maybe get a job or, or, uh, or, or talk to some bitches? Uh, what do I do? Oh, I've got it. I'll create a gender. And then I can fucking make everyone say, uh, no, hey, listen, don't call me dude. Don't call me dude. I'm not just a dude. You can't refer to me as dude, okay? That'd be too easy. I know I may look like a dude, but I'm not a dude. So now I need attention. Everyone look at me. The guy who's not a dude. P prefer not to be called dude. You're going to have to call me uh, King Xer. King Xerxes is my gender identification. So, well, wait a minute. You just you look like a you look like a man. You look like a dude. Don't you call me a man. I'm King Xerxes, leader of the cartwheels. But everyone can cartwheel. No, they can't. 
No one can cartwheel like King Xerxes. You want to know why? Because it's not just a human cartwheel. It's a special gender doing a cartwheel. Look at me, everyone. I can count one cookie, two cookie, three cookies for the god, Xerxes. And that's what we've created. The narcissism has created that. And it's like, it, it's just going to grow and grow and grow and grow and grow. And that's, that's where we are in life. And I know I'm taking a lot of leaps. I know I've created this big narrative that's mainly surrounded upon uh, one scooter rider doing one cartwheel. But uh, it is a slippery fucking slope out there. So parents, teach your kids how to backflip. Oh, <laughs> like I did. You know what? The king scooter rider is the one who can backflip. Google search Ninja Lifestyle backflip, goddammit. Um... I don't know. We got a little bit off topic there, but it's annoying to me, right? And uh, I, I'm scared. Like, what the fuck is next? Like, we've made a lot of good changes in the past, what, 15, 20 years, right? Like, now, I said earlier today, the whole gay thing, like, gay is now accepted and it's cool. And that's, that's a situation where I want to be on the correct side of history. I want to be on the side that said, yeah, okay, that's totally good. Keep it up. And then, when it comes to creating a million genders, I want to be on the other side of that. I want to say equal rights for, for gay people. Good job, America. Good job, world. Like, we're, we're fucking doing it right now. And then it comes to, oh, wait, 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 slow down. We're doing, we, we're doing, we're doing great. Now let's try to not fuck this up. Not, let's not fuck this thing up that we're going here. You know, let's, let, instead of, instead of, you know, put the whole, put the gender bullshit on hold. And let's, let's talk about police brutality. Let's, let's, now let's improve something else. The way that we've improved, uh, you know, the way that, uh, you know, gays are treated in America. Or let's, or let's continue that. Or let's just pick something else. Maybe the economy or, or something. Or maybe let's all find some common ground on, I don't know, abortion or guns or something. Let's do anything but distract ourselves with bullshit. I don't know. Oh, it got real political there. And I'm sorry. Sorry for doing that. But whatever. Anyways. I'm going to a uh, grappling event called Quintet 3. If you guys care about that, we can talk about it later. Uh, let's check out donations and whatnot. Shout out everybody that hooked me up today. Oh, only one donation. Oh, two. Varial Reality donated $69 million. Appreciate that. And 8-Bit Ranger donated $1 billion. And he left a message that said, Ninja, the best. Hope ya having the best day ever. Best day ever. I am having a pretty good day. Also, I got surprise. I got surprise paid by Twitch yesterday. So I was thinking, oh, I'm gonna go to the bar today. I'm not gonna be able to gamble. All my friends are gonna be having a great Friday, and I'm gonna be I'm gonna be broke. I'm gonna be having a broke day. Guess what? Twitch paid me randomly. I don't know what they're paying me for, but they paid me yesterday, and it was great. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. 140 bucks. 140. And that's going to be uh, a big help when it comes to not only uh, you know buying drinks and having fun and shit like that, but it's also going to be a big help to bills and shit. Also, since we spent a lot of money on that electroshock therapy machine, um, things are going good. So uh, I really appreciate you guys for hanging out. That's going to be the end of the podcast. I am going to hang out for a little bit for the post show, but uh, that's it. That's all the topics I got for today. Let's... Go back and check out the old your thoughts thing. I want to know your guys' thoughts on these uh, these guys shooting seven-year-olds. Is it okay? Keep it up or less shooting of seven-year-olds? Also, do you think it's better or worse that it was a non-gang issue? If it was a gang issue, gang shooting at a gang, maybe less innocent victims, maybe not. Or do you think it's actually worse that it's a non-gang issue? Next. Um, what are your thoughts on guns in school? I think everyone has the same thoughts on guns in school. I don't I think we all have the same thoughts. Oh, what are your thoughts on this statistical issue being fought with like, what makes it a school shooting? What makes it not a school shooting? I want to know your thoughts on that. Give me your thoughts on Eminem. Give me your thoughts on this cartwheel situation. Because I don't know if I'm going too far. Actually, I do know I'm going a little bit too far as far as making up the situation, I, uh, I made a big, <laughs> again, I made a big narrative out of a cartwheel. But I feel like I'm on the right direction. And I want us all to be going the right direction. Oh, boy. 
And again, I want to thank all of you guys for being here. If you've never been here before, Friday on twitch.tv slash ninja lifestyle, right around 3.30 p.m., 4 o'clock p.m. Pacific time. That's usually when we are recording this live. Nicholas is correct. Infinite. I'm infinite. You heard of hell while I was sent from it. I went to it. Serving a sentence for murder and instruments. <laughs> it's a really good song if you guys haven't heard that one. Um... I guess that's it, guys. I appreciate you being here. I hate fucking doing these outros and making it last forever, but that's what we do here. So, uh, if you aren't following me on Twitch, definitely please do that. Also, my YouTube channel's dying. We all know that. Uh, the only way we can potentially maybe revitalize it is if you tell a friend about the YouTube videos, about the podcast, about the Twitch. I need your guys' help. I can't do it alone. It's impossible these days. YouTube has made it impossible for me to grow, and uh, now I'm going to need your guys' help, love, and money. <laughs> to grow so that's it let's play that intro have a great weekend bitches oh hey look at that kid he can cartwheel and count to three what a fucking idiot